It's been almost 20 years since one of the most infamous crime bosses of all time, Joseph Bonanno, who died a week ago at the age of 97, agreed to sit down with us and for the first and only time in front of a television camera, talked about himself and the other real-life godfathers who inhabited his world. With his two sons and his daughter at his side, we met at his home in Tucson, Arizona, a couple of thousand miles and a world away from the streets of New York, where back in 1927, Joe Bonanno first came into contact with the mafia kingpin of his day, Salvatore Maranzano. Your first hero. That's right. Was uh, Salvatore Maranzano. Maranzano. Yes. But then you say he was said to be able to snap a man's neck with his fingers. And I say when I read that. That's a metaphorical. Well, uh, it's, it's quite a metaphor. <laughs> it's quite a metaphor. He also told you this. Man is the hardest animal to kill. When you aim at a man, your hands shake, your eyes twitch, your heart flutters. But you kill nonetheless. That's what I find a little difficult to understand. You got to make sure fighting for your life and to protect your life and nobody has the right to destroy another human being. All you don't do, but once you do, make sure. And make sure that you protect yourself with anything. So that I can fully understand what your dad's saying. Sometimes there comes point in, in the affairs of men where you try to control by force. And if that does not succeed, then you have to control by being a brute. By? Being a brute. And if possible, Maranzano told you, if possible, always touch the body with your gun to make sure the man is dead. Once you fight to survive and to protect your life, make sure that you succeed. But Maranzano himself became a victim of the mob. He was stabbed six times and shot four times by killers in the hire of Lucky Luciano. And it was after Maranzano's death that the so-called commission was created, effectively the judicial and executive body of the mob. The first commission was composed of Lucky Luciano, Vincent Mangano, Gaetano Gagliano, Joe Profacci, and Joe Bonanno. According to law enforcement officials, the commission rules on problems pertaining to disputes among the fathers, and is also believed to order contract hits, killings of members who get out of line. Bonanno was one of the ruling commission members for over 30 years. The commission, they sit around, they say, okay, that man's gonna go. We're not gonna do it. No, the commission will never say that. The commission has nothing to, uh, to, do, uh, uh, to do this. I'm wrong? No, nah, you're not question Who, wrong. Who orders a hit? Ah. Who orders a hit? Who orders a killing? The, the, it's a family, it's a family practice and uh, 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 free of their own. The commission has no authority okay. on a family. No. This is a profile of the Bonanno crime family that I got from the New York police. Okay? Bonanno went to his close friend, Joe Magliocco, and requested his help to kill three crime bosses, Gambino, Lucchese, and Magadino. They are baloney, fantas, and liars. Let me continue. Gambino called a meeting of the commission. Magliocco told all it was fined $40,000 and deposed from the commission. Joe Colombo was rewarded by being named the new Don and taking Magliocco's place on the commission. Bonanno, in the meantime, simply gave the commission the finger told them to get lost, in other words. The commission became angered and sent word to Bonanno that he was dismissed from the commission. Is this, all that garbage? It's all garbage, a liar, filthy, and untruth and false. It built up. This, Not I can lot. say this, uh, even if I get a give, if I, I gotta die any moment. This uh, never happened. This uh, never was the truth. And this is all garbage. They take it from Joe Bonanno. At the age of only 26, Bonanno became the youngest father in history of a crime family. At that time, he was still driving a truck part-time. 
After becoming boss, he married Faye, mother of his three children. It was as head of the Bonanno crime family that Joe Bonanno rubbed elbows with some of the leading mafia figures of our time. And he knew probably the most famous and powerful crime figure in America at the time, Scarface Al Capone. You knew Al Capone? Oh, I happened to know him, you know. What kind of a man? Al Capone was a very jolly guy. Al Capone was a jolly guy? Jolly guy. <laughs> what do you find so funny, Bill? Uh, my reaction is to your reaction. It's surprise. Well, I like him. Why did you like him? For his uh, character, for his approach, for his, uh, uh, the way he handled himself, uh, the way, uh, the external appearance. But I never knew Al Capone from inside. Charles Lucky. Lucky Luciano. What was his power? What was his talent? What kind of a man? Luciano believed in money. Luciano said, look, uh, he believed in syndicate. That's why Luciano, he, 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 he believed uh, believe to make money. Uh, what's wrong with his wanting money? I mean, you're, uh, Bonanno wanted money. But I don't want his money or his kind of money. Bonanno claims that he made money in the more traditional ways, gambling and bootlegging while Luciano went for the big payday, making his money through narcotics, prostitution, extortion. Here you have two young fellows coming up in the, in, in the world, in their own world, seemingly from the same background. Bonanno and Luciano. And Luciano, and instantly having a conflict of philosophy, a philosophical conflict. And what basically was the, the conflict in philosophy? The, the, Luciano was an American product. An American and product. And it was a, a Sicilian product. Right, that is the conflict, and the conflict boiled down to the Americans wanted everything to revolve around money, making money. And your, your father what? His whole life has been one of trying to live up to his own principles and his own traditions, which have come in conflict with the new tradition of this country. One thing I can remember as a, as a child growing up, and my dad told me, there's three things that just aren't, that just don't happen. And? And one is women, living off of women, meaning prostitution, where a woman supports you right two is dealing in narcotics and the third is hurting anybody for money now let me understand that if anybody dealt in narcotics from the banana family oh, yeah. or in prostitution from the banana family or killing on contract for money in the banana family they did it without your knowledge without my knowledge no question about you swear it, it. Huh? You swear it. I swear that before God. Because but according to law enforcement officials, Joe Bonanno has links with known heroin traffickers. One of them was Carmine Galante, his longtime underboss, who was murdered in 1979 with his cigar still warm in his mouth. Carmine Galante worked for you. He was picked up and convicted of a narcotics charge. If Joe Bonanno runs a family, he's supposed to know what's going on. If Carmen Galante, without my knowledge, prior to dealing with Arcadis, I never know uh, this. I don't have to swear, but I can swear on anything. Mafia fathers ordinarily shun publicity, except for an occasion of great joy as with a son's wedding. And when Bill Bonanno married Rosalie Profaci, Joe Bonanno provided the most lavish mob wedding on record. Every forgive me, mobster in the world, it seemed, in the United States, was at that hotel in New York. Detroit was there, Cleveland was there, Buffalo was there, Los All Angeles the United was, States there. was there. All the United States. All United States was there. Yeah, like... Uh, but, I mean, this uh, was... This like was a, a congressman was there. Georges was there. Uh, Frank Sinatra got the uh, equal <laughs> common <laughs> sing. Uh, 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 Bennett, Tony Bennett sang all night and wouldn't have to work. Four lads uh, were entertained. Uh, uh, Some opera singer was the there. Opera singer was there. there. There were 3,000 people there. And I venture to say, according to FBI statistics, that there are not more than 4,000, quote, mafia members, unquote, in the whole United States, according to the FBI. <laughs> And every major mafia leader in the United States was at that wedding. 
along with the congressmen and the lawyers and the bankers. And no, and the major mafia leader. All the, uh, mostly over the major father, over the family, of uh, this uh, beautiful symbol of uh, my traditional generation was there, the father, the head of the family. Out of respect for you. Out of respect for me, yes. If a family member had an affair with another family member's wife, what was the penalty? What is the penalty? Dead. Death. In a calling of uh, the court. Who does the killing? Ah, huh? the, the guy, the guy, not the family. The, 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 the guy, the cuckolder, let's say this. The cuckolded man does the killing. If he wants to kill it. <laughs> People have a funny idea. They think that this is a life of action. They think it's a life, a very romantic life. Not romantic in the romance sense, but, but actually, the particular lifestyle that many people have become involved in over the years is really just a lifetime of waiting, tremendous lulls between moments of action. And I've never understood, Bill Banana, why you didn't turn your back on him and say, come on, a man of intelligence, yourself, attractive, gift of command, articulate, educated, and a hoodlum, why? You know how many times I've asked myself that question? It all comes down to one thing. It comes down to love of heritage and love of another person. That other person, of course, is his father. You have said the U.S. government has yeah. tried to destroy you. Yeah, that's right. Why have they failed to destroy you? They haven't failed yet. They haven't failed? No, yes. They may course. still get you. Yeah, for sure. All my life I've been misunderstood. I just uh, rule my family as a father. To this day, among men of Bonanno's tradition, family loyalty is foremost, and everyone outside the family is considered a stranger. I make this toast to wish you all good health and Merry Christmas. You know why? Because I love you all. Oh, thank God you. God bless you. Second God, second God, second God bless you. God bless you. A footnote. For all the tales of Joe Bonanno's misdeeds, his crimes, the fact is that he spent just 26 months behind bars, convicted only of obstruction of justice and contempt of court.